Hello everybody, welcome at ISORP Academy. In this tutorial, I will explain you how to configure DKIM, Domain Keys Identified Mail, for your domain. Having DKIM configured correctly is very important these days, as most of service providers like Gmail, O365 and others require DKIM signatures in incoming messages to pass their security checks. Once you will set a DKIM for your domain, all outgoing messages from your server and this domain will be digitally signed to avoid email spoofing. DKIM signed messages allows the receiver to check that email claimed to be sent from your domain was authorized by you as an owner of the domain. All we need to do is turn it on, configure it properly and create a TXT record in your public DNS records for your domain. OK, so let's get started. First of all, log in to your web admin. Here, on Dashboard, continue to Menu. And there, to Users and Domains. In a domain list, select domain you'd like to configure DKIM for. Continue to Properties. And here, on the right side, you might see a DKIM button. Once you will click on it, it will raise you a DKIM wizard. Continue with Setup DKIM button. Good. Now first we need to define a selector. Selector can almost be randomly selected word which acts as identifier of your server. If you have several mail servers with same domain, each server might have different selector. I will use word major as my selector. To continue, click on generate new key. Great, now we need to create a TXT record in your public DNS provider. To have it configured properly, Please create new TXT record with content of this hostname field as a TXT record name and content of a selector record field as a TXT record value. Once you have it, click Save. This will start signing your outgoing messages and together with new DNS record allows recipient servers to check if those messages came really from your server. If you will, for whatever reason, need to reset DKIM settings for this domain in the future or create new selector for this server, feel free to click on DKIM button again and on the bottom left corner continue with reset DKIM settings. And that's it. It was not that complicated. Or was it? Okay, what else? Did you like this video? So leave us a thumbs up and subscribe so you won't miss any other. I would also recommend you our next video, which is as well related to Icewarp.